Hello there, Valdo here. I thought I'd do a wee line of mini videos for all you mad 4th, 5th and 6th year pupils. We've got your mad physics exams coming up this year and a heavy brick in it by the way. I got sent a wee video clip for a guy called Mr Greer, I think he's a pure dino teacher. And he teaches physics to Wayne's in Clyde Bank. But I met him once and he is a button. But he pure says this will help all you use pure get your heater in your working when it comes to your exams to heavy get your full marks and that. So let's just click on the wee file. Hi, wee cuddly thing, hello. My name is ISU. I have a stupid name, I'm an only cute. I tell me something I don't know. My name will forever be a reminder to you to sort out your working when it comes to equations. ISU. Information, equation, solution, units, underline. Oh, that get it out. I assume it's like a wee thing to have to remember what you're doing. That. Get to it and I will hunt you down. I'm very good. I am quite vicious. I am. <laughs> so you are, wee man. So you are. <laughs> Compose yourself, Aldo. Compose yourself. Uh, wasn't expecting that this morning. Uh, shouldn't have had that lamb jai puri last night, man. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Even though I'm not happy at uh, pure getting a fright, I'm going to use that method because it's actually quite good to answer a proper physics question. Now, here's a typical two mark calculation question. A wee mad motor pure accelerates via rest to a speed of 28 meters a second and a time of 8 seconds. What's the pure acceleration for the motor? So that's like a mad standard grade equation. What I'll do is I'll show you how to do it for standard grade, but see if you're doing it in 1 or in 2 or higher or advanced or not. It's still quite a good method to do, alright? Even though you don't get a wee box to fill in. So, usually have a wee space, but it says space for working and answer. That means you do your working and your answer, does it mean stick doing your answer, wee man? What I do first is I draw a wee line down the middle, just to separate into two columns and that. And then what I do is I stick doing my eye for information. In this question here, I'm working at acceleration in metres per second squared, that goes at the top of my wee question mark. Then I got your V for your final speed, 28. Your U for your zero, by the way, U zero because it comes for rest. Remember that, when it says starts with S, that means zero. And your T for time is eight seconds. Look here though, I've not got any marks so far, because that's just my eye bit, that's my information. You get nothing for that. But it keeps you right, alright. So then we do our E for equation, in this case it's your V minus U over T for acceleration. That you get a half mark for that. Then you pop doing your S for solution, which is this line here. Then that line there, that's your S for solution. Obviously, oh, that's only one and a half marks for that. So what you need to do is a wee U and then a wee U and the I through bit. So we we'll have your units and your underline. That's your two marks. There's your half mark breakdown. Just in case you wanted to know what they mean and all that. That's how SQA marketers actually do their marking. That's how they break it down. Just so you know that. So here he's going in, that's how a two mark question pure works. So here he's going in, your bottoms, that's how you do your exams. Do your working, because if you don't, then I assume will get you. You can hunt him down. He can run away. You can even heavy pant it and hide in a cupboard like a wee Jesse Buffer. But eventually, I assume will get you. Either that or you'll fail your exam, big chap, cause either way, you're f***ing.